Holy shit. Okay, I guess we're not done yet. Um, our first time appearance. I'd like to invite on Ethan Ralph. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Going pretty Let good. Let me, uh, I'm trying. No, here we go. Sorry, I had to kill the audio. I was listening to the stream there. Uh, I guess Noel got word that I was about to jump on. He seemed to he seemed to skedaddle pretty quickly. Oh. Uh, I don't know how he got word, but uh, <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Um, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I, I do appreciate that you considered me PPP's grandpa, and not PPP to be my grandpa. That I I, I do appreciate that because that would have been worse. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, yes. I mean. You're pretty hefty. You know, I lost a bunch of weight, uh, yeah. so I get to talk a little shit now. No, you can. You're looking good, man. I'm glad to see you're doing good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. By the way, that was not actually me uh, in the chat. I saw them pop, I, I, and then I, they I, thought that was me. Uh, no, it wasn't actually me. But that's why I got sent the link. So whoever oh. was trolling, uh, oh. thank you uh, for that, I suppose. But uh, okay. no, that wasn't actually me in the chat. It sounded like me at certain points, though. I was. <laughs> it was a decent uh, impression, but no, I, my account's like, Bob Smith or some shit like that. Uh, no. I forget what it is. Um, you know, you just had Noel on here, mm -hmm. and he said uh, he doesn't like people being accused of being a pedophile without any evidence. Well, yeah. then he goes on to call Vito a pedophile and said, you know, he wouldn't mind shooting him, basically. Uh, then he intimates that Dick Masterson is a pedophile right after that, which is just low down and dirty sean i don't know uh you didn't really challenge him on that but uh i you know i haven't seen any evidence that either one of those guys are pedophiles well Have i mean you? All, all i can say is Vito's made the tweets but i know Vito said those are jokes but that's where you know if you run around saying you like doing something and then you say oh well i'm joking i mean that's up for people to decide whether or not that's true well, he did make some from, questionable tweets. I agree with you there. I don't um, think I've seen anything from Dick Masterson, but that's, you know, I don't know. I I was never involved in the, the whole world that, you know, the sector and any of that stuff back in the day. So I don't know what Noel fully knows, but I, you know, from the Vito stuff, I could say, yeah, Vito, it's like those are, if you were yeah, ever, but, if he was ever in court, those would be some, uh, those are some ones he'd have to pull his collar on if he had to answer, but for Dick, yeah, I don't, there's nothing I've ever seen that says Dick is. I mean, other than the cuties thing, but that's that alone isn't enough for me. Well, so those tweets, and again, I wouldn't have made those tweets. Uh, you know, I I do think that they were done to basically joke and troll back. People were already calling him a pedophile then. Uh, and so he sure. leaned into it and was like, yeah, you know, whatever. I, I don't remember the exact tweets, but I remember yeah. seeing them. I remember seeing him doing it, and I was like, no, don't do that. Because he used to get you forever, uh, even if you're fucking around, which I believe that he was. Mm -hmm. But they'll be used against him forever. So I w they were ill-advised, uh, I think. By the way, he's going to be on my show tonight, so I'll talk to him about it too. But, uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, but I don't know that Vito, and I, I, don't, I mean, I do know, and Dick Masterson, they've never set up a – you know, a board for pedophiles to commiserate on like Josh Moon, your, your past guest, just, uh, you know, that's in his career history, Sean. I don't know if you know yeah. that or not. I, I, I'm aware of those. I'm aware of those comments. Yeah. And I, I, no, I mean, he actually did that. That's not a, mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, it's, I mean, I got as far as what has been said with that. Yeah. I, I was never, I wasn't around for those parts. So yeah, it's, it's, I think that you can make those arguments one way or another, but I don't believe them based on what I know and what I've talked about with Null. Um, I mean, he actually did that. Now, I, no, that I doesn't make him a pedophile necessarily. You could say he was a free speech absolutist or whatever. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have done that either, set up mm -hmm. a place for pedophiles sure. to commiserate. Uh, but anyway, go ahead. I didn't mean to well, cut you Well, off. no, no. I mean, that's the thing, though. I mean, it's one thing if you, know, if you want to make the argument of all that, and I understand you can make that argument and you want to, but... I disagree with any of that, that he wanted that to happen or that was his intended results or whatever you want to argue with that. But I well, do agree with you. I do agree with you as far as Vito has said, yeah, he was trying to lean into it, but that's where you get into the idea of like, is that the thing you really want to lean, lean into? It's kind of like if, for example, somebody starts calling me a racist, like you're right, I'm a racist. And he starts screaming every, you know, racial slur you want to. Is that the way you should probably address that matter? No. 
No, it's not. And I agree with that. Uh, and I, you know, I saw it when it was happening and I was thinking, they don't know, don't do that. Um, mm -hmm. but I also took it as a troll, right? He's trolling sure, back sure. and it's not like, I, to me, that's not evidence, uh, like setting up a, you know, room, not a room, but a message board for pedophiles mm -hmm. to commiserate. And it was the stated goal, Sean. I mean, they were segregated off. They, they wanted to quarantine them off from the main discussion boards and give them their own, uh, place basically so they wouldn't contaminate uh the main parts of what was it 16 chan i think are you talking, um, well, yeah, say, are you talking about one of the chans because that's what yeah. i'm trying to figure out where yeah you're i am about. yeah okay am. yeah 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 it wasn't kiwi farms it was i think it was no, a project I, simultaneous with that or something i don't know i'm not a chan yeah, expert and, and i and i wasn't following i don't know enough to know the answer to that question to really comment on it because i didn't really follow it at that point but I've heard I've heard those comments before. I think I've heard you make that statement before. So yeah, it's it's out there. Yeah, I mean um, it happened. I, I don't even think uh, Noel would deny it outright because that did happen. Uh, now he's hmm. probably got some excuses, but uh, I mean that that did happen. That's not a that's not a claim. I mean mm -hmm. it's there's evidence of it. You know, and screenshots of him talking about it on the board and and all that stuff. So it, it did occur. Hmm. All right. Well, I like I said, I don't know. But if you don't, to... yeah, you don't have to comment on it if you don't yeah. want. No, I know, well, I know. But I'll let you say. I'll let you say what you want to say there. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, no. But uh, did you? So I know you know what this all we were on today about is Nick and Monty. You know, Monty sued Nick. Uh, you know about that whole thing, right? Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I don't know what it. I did see what he exactly said, but it's mm -hmm. been uh, I don't know. It's been a while. Months, a year since I've seen yeah. it, but yeah. I do know that he's involved in legal battle with monograph. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Do you have any, do you have any thoughts on that yourself? I mean, certainly you could free to talk about that if you want. Well, you know, the case itself, I don't know. I'm not a big mm -hmm. fan of, of suing people over what mm -hmm. they said online. I've gotten tied up in court and people have tried to silence me. There's certain things I can't talk about even now uh, because of that. Well, and yeah, so, you've got your own, I understand. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it hits a little close to home uh, for me. Uh, and, you know, people use the courts to muzzle you and then they do an end around and spread a bunch of lies about you and you can't really respond to it effectively. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that, but I, you know, I don't know the ins and outs of, of the case or, or anything. I, I damages, I don't know. To me, that would seem, did that really hurt Montagraph? I don't know. Um, do you think it did? Right. Like, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I don't think so, but, uh, yeah, well, go well, I, I try to avoid talking about the actual thing itself because Monty, when he put together his lawsuit, he named me in the actual like opening of it. So I'm oh. like, I'm technically like a witness. So I try to avoid that because this whole thing today was about like the rules. They had an argument over what rules they were going to play by. So it was like, what rules apply? The rules of Colorado or the rules of Minnesota. And I could talk about that all day long because it doesn't matter to the case. Like either way, they're going to play by a set of rules. And then what happened, what I, what happened, what I saw, what I think or felt doesn't matter at that point. And then eventually at some point, if they want to talk to me or if I get deposed or whatever, I want to be able to be fair to both sides and not have been running my mouth one way or another for this thing. It's kind of how Yeah, I mean, that makes it. sense. And I, the way you were talking, I didn't see all of the stream earlier, but mm -hmm. the way you were talking, I figured you were mentioned uh, in the lawsuit uh, mm -hmm. in some way or some manner, or might be called mm -hmm. to the stand. So, yeah. And you're a lawyer, so you know more about it than I do. But I figured you're trying to keep your powder dry a little bit. Uh, Just a little on, bit. On some of the stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. But I did want to ask you, and I talked about yeah. it on my show. Sure. What's up with the with the violent turn against Ricada? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like a violent turn, but I just, I think a lot of people, I know Nick has said everything's great with him, but you know, I, I, it doesn't look like it to me and I know other people feel that way. Um, I know whatever he's got going on in his life, you know, is his issues and everybody's got their own problems. You know, God bless. I hope everybody gets their shit worked out, whether it's me, whether it's you. You know, we'll Nick, see. I want everybody to get their shit worked out. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know a lot of people ain't saying that to you, but yeah, I appreciate you saying that. Um, but I don't know. It just seems, it, and maybe I overstated it, but it seemed like he kind of made your, 
your career here on the line at least. Uh, and mm -hmm. you know, I saw the Metal Gear Solid clip the other day. I've seen yeah. some of your recent commentary, uh, and it seems to have taken a, a really nasty turn against well, him. I guess I'll say it like this: I never meant it to be nasty, and certainly if it if Nick were to tell me, "Hey, man, I feel like those," you know, because I made some before, and Nick's like, "Some of this is fucking hilarious." He's texting me before about that. If he were to say right now, this is way too much, dude. You're really, do I feel like you're dogging me now, not just poking. You know, I'd say, I apologize to him and I'd stop. I'd stop. And, you know, I realized, yeah, with the whole Metal Gear Solid thing, yeah, I kind of went far with that one. But I, I, I really want what's best for him. But I think there's also times if somebody does something goofy or they're, you know, if they're stepping on a rake, I think it's okay to laugh at them, to, to argue I can't laugh at that person. I don't ever want to be in that position where you say you can't make fun of that person if they do something goofy or cringe. But for Nick's situation, I, I think those are issues. But I think really I the whole thing he did where the, the John guy, I don't know if you heard that. Did you see that one? Or you yeah, and about? I was glad you – go ahead and bring up your points on that because yeah. I got a few as well. Go ahead. Yeah, like, and, I, and I get the idea that, okay, this guy may have been fucking with him, so he's going to fuck back, and I get that. Fine. If somebody comes at you and they're giving you shit, clap back at oh, You saw what I said business. then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah. 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 You, you, I, I have no problem with you doing that. I have no problem coming at somebody like that. They come at you, you come right back. And – yeah, I know, Chad. You're going to joke about the way I said that. Fine. <laughs> but I think there's something to be said, especially in, you know, for Nick and I, you know, the idea you go to somebody and you speak to them in confidence. Okay. But I also feel there's a little bit more of confidence in that that type of a matter, I think, should be protected a little bit more. And I also argue you are an attorney, and, and, and Nick's an attorney. I'm as not, of now, really... like if you were to go look at Nick, it's like, was that guy going to take anything? If I talk to him about anything, would he keep that in confidence? Because if he gets mad at me, he could go out there and run his mouth where I wouldn't do that because I, I try to keep, I want to show people like, yes, what you tell me, I take, to, you know, until you tell me I could say it never will never get said again to another single soul. You know, even you, if you came to me and you mess, you, you DM me later, hey, I got to talk to you about something, I question. And you came to me and told me all kinds of shit until you tell me I could talk about it or it has to come out through the course of something. I'm not telling a soul about it. And even if that's just a consultation, whatever it is, I take that to the grave. Like, and I take it, there's all kinds of secrets and shit I've gotten. I haven't been doing this 10 years that I will never tell another soul until I get permission. So I think that's critical. And for him to do that, I think is very much. And I think at this point, basically he's. I mean, if you Google this guy, you're like, I want to hire this guy as an attorney. You're like, fuck, if he gets mad at me and gets a couple in him, he's going to tell everybody about all my business. I, I, I just he's got to get right with himself. And I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what he needs to do. But I think he's got to get his shit sorted out a little bit. So I take that, and I understand what you're saying there. But yeah. what would you say if I told you that John slash Captain Manning uh -huh. had revealed that on Kiwi Farms, I don't know, uh -huh. two years ago almost, and that I read it and already uh -huh. knew that story, and that Kiwi Farms had read it as well, and that's how they were able to deduce who John I was. I saw that part, yeah. No, I saw that. I saw that. And I saw that there, and I think part of that is, yes, this was already something people knew about. But I don't think a lot of people know about that. I think there's also the issue of it might be out there, but I don't know if that's your place to really bring that up like that. If that person wasn't, you know, then again, though, if you were in crisis, why would you share with the world that you were in crisis like that? That's a separate matter of people liking to overshare or people liking to share to share to get, you know, to get noticed or power leveling and all that. I just don't think that's proper for someone who wants to be. You know, holding the out in the position they're in, I don't think it's a proper way to do it. If you want to go after him for saying he's a you know loser, lives by himself, you can make all kinds of allegations. You know, being a broke deadbeat on Social Security and all that, you can make all that crap you want to. Without also saying they're sitting there crying about trying to kill themselves and how that all worked out, because not all of it was fully disclosed, and I think that that what Nick did was expanded upon it much more than what was in that post. Cause I've seen that post since then. 
And Nick oh, talks about it. a lot more. Yeah. yeah and and yeah. that's why, okay, yeah, okay, great. He didn't breach too much confidence, but what he did breach was quite a bit. I mean, there there's more to that than what Captain Manning wrote out, which, you know, there's that. I mean, and I yeah, think but it wasn't quite how it's portrayed is all I'm saying, right? Like, it wasn't a full reveal. I it guess he did a... expound upon it some. You're right there. But, like, the guy was already talking about it. The guy posting his thread, like, 20 mm -hmm. times a day. And going back to, you know, stress on Ricada and maybe he's not himself. And, again, I won't comment on that. I don't, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, but I will say this. You know, having thousands of people, I'm experienced with this, having thousands of people after you every single day, making up lies and maybe there's some truth mixed in there too right there usually is yeah but you know there's this machine against you every single day just cranking it out and his threads are even wilder you know the thread they have on him is even wilder than what they have on me oh uh, i right? know it's growing pages, every day. 20 pages a day yeah. yeah uh and so i i would argue that that could put some stress on your life as well oh right I, um Oh, I, I, uh, that's the thing. I can't only imagine. I mean, especially even for you every day, you know, my pantsu, my Morris, my Vickers, like, you know, they, like you hear about it every day, like your fucking truck and the cartels and you, you hear about every fucking day. And like, you know, like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can only imagine how that feels. And I like, you hear about it all the time. So no, I, I don't doubt that gets to you after a while. And that, that's, that is the shitty part about it. And even when you're just trying to do your own stream, it's not like you can, you know, you shut off the internet and ignore it. Well, like if you, well, and you Nick, can't get like, away from it. Well, if you shut off the internet your... though, yeah, this is your, yeah. this is, this is your thing. So it's not like you can, well, you know, I don't know. You you could probably become like the governor of uh, your, <laughs> you your, your state down here. Yeah. yeah, I think you could. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah. you said it right. I mean, there's no ex escaping it. And even when you don't want to talk about it, and again, you mentioned some stuff. I'll be clear. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. And I haven't talked about any of that. I want to say on the sure, record. Sure. Uh, and I haven't mentioned anybody's name in that regard, et cetera. But, I'm sorry, um, hold, on, hold on, Ralph. Let me apologize. I apologize sure. for that, Ralph. Yeah. He has not said anything. I was just using those examples of what people bring right. up that they try to drive home every day and fuck with me. You know, right. whether they feel right, wrong, or indifferent, they're using it to, get at you right and, and and i'll say that it goes back to what i said earlier there's a lot of stuff i legally can't talk about and it's unfortunate when you know everybody else can talk about it including you know people close to the situation and mm -hmm. it's given credibility when it's not credible some things being said etc and i can't actually refute it i can't really um you know go, go on the record without getting in trouble uh and so it's not like that for Rakeda as far as I know on most of this stuff but it is like a you know every time you get dragged into it and I've seen him doing his regular stream saw him doing his regular stream the other day and you know it's all these comments non-stop about his family uh, about oh you drink too much this and that and he's just trying to go through an article I think it was about the Supreme Court or something right uh and there's no escaping it every single day I mean you could see how that would be a problem right and it's been going on for almost a year now I guess with him she hasn't muted sorry no i and i understand that for nick and that's where i i think though i think nick has really been able to and i'm not trying to knock you ralph or make fun of you here but i think nick was in a position where he really could kind of control how things were going and i think he just i don't know what his deal is and i i get i get it you know i think probably for nick a little bit of it certainly i'm this way at times you tend to like when something happens and you know, I, I've been a very big contrarian most of my life that that's just how I roll. I'm not afraid. Like I, you know, do whatever. And I do the other fucking thing just to fuck with people. And I, I get that. And I think for Nick, that might be part of the issue here is, you know, we'll fuck all these people. I'm not, I am not going to do what they want or whatever they say, just because they're saying it. But I, I feel like Nick was in such a, he's been in such a position where he could, direct things in a way and i and i'll say for you what's happened to you as an example of well i've already seen what's happened before so i can i have some idea on how i could navigate one way works versus another way not working and how do i react and respond to things and i just feel like nick has kind of been like oh fuck it and just done whatever went on his own path which i don't i don't see why 
I feel like there's enough examples on the internet. You can say like, okay, well, I should probably, I can weave between these, weave between the landmines a little bit. And I don't think he did that. Well, you know, you mentioned me and speaking from experience, there is a point where you can control things. Um, but you know, you're taking fire every single day. You know, mm -hmm. people are coming at you with bullshit every single day. And you know, I, it's hard not to respond. <laughs> Uh, to that stuff and I, I know sometimes you shouldn't or you should take a different path or a different response but once the snowball you know starts rolling downhill you know things are out of your out of your hands yeah. um, I mean what could he come out and say now besides he was gonna hang himself or something that would please some of these people I mean it's a ra it's rabbit against him and I've talked about this uh, you know I don't really know it seems out of proportion you know I <laughs> With me, I would say there's more stuff going on for people to mm -hmm. to seize on or whatever or make a big deal. But I see Ricada and they say, oh, there was some fake bitch in his chat or, mm -hmm. you know, stuff about yes, that's the that highlight of know. it, comparatively speaking. Right. Yes. Or he's drinking too much or whatever. It's, and I'm thinking, what? Why are they so, you know, hell bent on destroying this guy I now have a couple theories uh you know a lot of his fan base was built around kiwi farms and then once he had a falling out with null and you know null starts talking about him weekly or whatever multiple times per week on his show that you know the kiwi farmers see that as a green light and mm -hmm. see think they've been betrayed uh etc and that seems to be what's behind a lot of the bloodlust because i see you know it I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem like there's as much there there to justify the response that they've given him. Well, I, I get what you're saying. Yes, compared to like the the crap you've dealt with, you know, this you're like, I wish it was just that bad. Probably. Right. I was. I'm sitting there saying, Wow, I wish I could trade places. Yeah. Are you yeah. serious? I'll uh, deal with Mandy I mean, every day. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mandy, that doesn't mean he wants to talk to you. Don't start DMing him. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I mean, it seems here. minor. Uh, I appreciate that. It seems minor in comparison to to me and some others, right? And I and I yeah. see stuff I'm going and, through, and, and, others and, going and through. it is minor relatively compared to what a lot of people are dealing with. But for Nick, where he, you know, where he was starting out at before all this happened, this is a pretty big deal overall. So, I mean, I I think it's, I I guess I I think people had the wrong impression. Uh, as well now maybe you could argue that that he gave them that impression or what have you but i never i never took nick ricada as you know a minister or or something like that right and of course i've mm -hmm. met him several times i never was under that impression um that he you know i knew he had a good family and and all this stuff but you know i i never i don't know it seems like people feel like they were had or something or they were well, a lot snuckered. of people do feel that way and that's but that's where you know i think that comes down to like well what did they what did they reasonably expect and what were they reasonably given to rely on and i think that's where people are still trying to work through that but a lot of people feel like they were but i get what you're saying yeah if, you know were people really or did people re read into him did they just want to see that right yeah like, I, did they read into him all this and they did they, they foist all this upon him and you know if there's people we like we like to see the good in them we like to see ourselves in them or was there some of it nick was also okay yeah well i'm working with it too i i think there's a little bit both ways there but you know obviously people are going to say that they feel like that they got had and nick's going to say well i didn't do anything I did nothing more than, you know, I'm the same person as I've always been. And I, you know, that's where people I think are going to make their decisions. And I think, you know, people are made the decision right now. Okay. So I'll ask you two questions. First off, mm -hmm. um, what did you think of him? Did you see him that way? And then second off, if you were giving him advice, you know, yeah. we're here talking about it. What would you tell him to do? I mean, ultimately I've, I saw him the way he came across to me was not necessarily like the trad dad thing, but yeah, he was kind of close to that. He was in that vein and was very much like for where he is compared to now is like 180 degrees to me. So like what I would tell Nick is I'd say, you know, you can go back to, you know, I get, you know, right now he's saying, I don't want to go back to what I was doing. I didn't like any of that stuff or whatever. Okay, fine. 
but what you're doing now isn't working. What you've been doing for lately hasn't really been working. You know, I, I know you want to sit there and talk about relationships, but nobody wants to talk about that stuff. I mean, there's some people who can talk about those things. I don't think people like that packaging from you. That's like me. If I wanted to go talk about another subject, nobody might give a shit about it. Well, but that's something I really want to do. Well, that's, you know, that nobody's going to want to listen to me. Um, I, I think he needs to just, I think he just needs to take a moment and like figure out what he really wants to do. I know he kind of goes back and forth, but take a day or two off and just figure out like, what is it you really want to do? How do you want to get there? Because I feel like he's doing a lot of reacting and going back and forth. Okay. Well, in trying to jump to both sides and you know, like, okay, well now we're doing lost stuff. And then, you know, he wants to go back to what it is he wants to do. And I, that's my biggest thing for him is I just think he needs to take a deep breath and figure out what he wants because what he's doing right now, this going back and forth is clearly not what he wants. And that's going to be more destructive to him than going one way or another, I think. Because if you're trying to do both things, it's not going to, it's going to get worse. And I just want him to stop and take a breath for a second and figure out what he wants to do and just go do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess that's kind of a, especially when you do streams all the time, multiple mm -hmm. times per week, um, you know, it it can get to where you want to talk about some things that interest you sometimes or whatever that may not mm -hmm. interest your your core people uh, and you have to balance that out with you know why people came there in the first place mm -hmm. uh and it's something i've had to think about from time to time or i want to talk about sometimes i'll talk about sports uh and you know mm -hmm. the majority of my people don't want to hear me talk yeah. about sports so if i turned it into uh you know the kill stream into a sports recap show uh that probably wouldn't work uh, so mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying there, but I don't know. It just seems like the bloodlust is so high, and I have it too, um, that, you know, a lot of people just want to see him fall. And I, I don't really know well, that's how you just get some of that back. Um, but that's a lot of people in general, though. People like to see people fall. I mean, that's just – I think that's kind of human nature to an extent, so. Yeah, fair. It's, um, it's I mean, it, it's not just – it's not just people rooting against you. It's not just people rooting against Nick. I mean, just in general, he loves, I mean, in, in society in general, he likes seeing people get taken down a peg. That's true. I think people like a good uh, redemption comeback story too. Well, as that well, too. Uh, yeah. And there's, so, there's, there's always a way. Not back. that he needs redemption, but you know, that's the term redemption arc or whatever. Yeah, comeback story. Uh, yeah. And um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like he's been treated uh, a little unfairly in regards to, I mean, it just seems out of proportion. Uh, like I said earlier with, yeah. with what he's actually accused of doing or whatever. Sure. Um, so that's kind of my whole problem with it. And I saw you jumping on him. I, I, I don't know. It just seemed a, a little strange. Do you think you're still cool with him or have you talked I, to him or, I mean, I I've, I've reached out. To, I, I mean, when I, there's times where I've said like, Hey, is this okay? Like, Hey, just so you know, you know, I, I, I'm like the jokes are kind of like just happen like you know it's and he said yeah it's, it's it's all good I mean it's been a little like he said you know what he's been going through lately like the past like week or so you know I reached out to him like is there anything I can do what do you need anything like that and he hasn't said anything but also I know he's been very radio silent about it anyway so I don't I don't know as of late so well like I said, that whatever happens it is, I'm too. hoping it's getting worked out well, that happens too. I mean, you silo yourself off when it's mm -hmm. one of these things going on, which really, you know, I, I everybody handles it differently, but that, I've handled it that way too. And it's not really the way um, to do it. If I had one just minor critique of, of it, because once you silo yourself off, you know, other people aren't hearing you and, and other broadcasts and seeing you everywhere and just mm -hmm. the negative messages out there yeah. uh, and you can't really refute it uh, just even me being here i uh, saw some people shocked uh that i that i showed yeah. up right uh yeah. and there's a reason for that because i haven't been doing many outside appearances ever you know well not ever but not very much right unless it's a friendly field uh, mm -hmm. i haven't done too many you, in the last you came, couple years and i'll say you came on to here and you didn't know how i was gonna do this so no no i didn't yeah. and you know i said some pretty mean things so yeah i didn't know uh, oh, how you would do this uh, no i was people have said to me on the area it wasn't that bad yeah yeah it wasn't well sometimes people take these promos or i'm talking like oh. i talk shit about legal mindset well, and then i saw video after video about that 
and I'm thinking, man, you know, I was just talking shit. <laughs> like, no. I don't need to know this guy. Yeah. Um, but some people were like, Rob's on the warpath, and he's <laughs> going after this guy. I mean, I guess I technically did, but it was just me, you know, cutting a promo on my show. I yeah didn't go after him, quote unquote, and no. start pulling up his record or his job history and critique you know getting personal like that i was just sure. talking shit about the guy so yeah well like I'm, um, yeah so um yeah no that, that's that's true ralph but hey anyway, it's uh thank you for I having me gotta, on yeah I yeah yeah i gotta go do my show yeah, anyway I was going jet. guys killstream.live yeah. oh there you go I want to say this. Yeah, it's yeah. over on Rumble. Killstream, if you search it, Killstream Live is the channel, I believe, or it just says Killstream, <laughs> one of those. Um, but uh, I I'll say this. I, I saw you shout out uh, Alyssa Clips earlier, and people falsely blame me for that as well. I had absolutely mm -hmm. nothing to do with that, and I know it was me in the video. It was me talking shit about legal mindset, actually, now that we mention yeah. it. I didn't do shit on the video, didn't flag it, mm -hmm. didn't do anything to it. I'm happy to see – she said she got let out of jail early back, uh, yeah. on Twitter. Uh, I'm happy to see that. I use her channel often on my show. Now, I'm usually making a different point than what she's trying yes. to make in the clip that she posted, right? Yeah, um, I've seen – I've seen – yeah. watched it full stream, so. Right, yeah, but it – you know, I use that channel a lot, uh, and so, I no, I would absolutely not do that and haven't done that, and I'm glad to see uh, that she's back. So I just want to state that as well, and I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. Well, no, thanks for – Thank you for coming on, Ralph. I appreciate it, man. I'll see you around. You're welcome. Right, Take care, around, man. man. Yep. Later. See ya. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I wasn't planning on that. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.